This is amazing. Now we have Code Llama 70 billion parameter model. It is recently released by Meta and you are able to download the model by following the link. We have three different variations. One is Code Llama 70B, another one is Code Llama 70B Python, next Code Llama 70B Instruct. We can see it is derived from the base Llama 2 foundation model and then for Python, it is fine-tuned for Python code. For instruction, it is fine-tuned for instruction. And also it got fine-tuned on long context. When we see the evaluation score, the 70B instruction model is topping the list in regards to human eval score and also multilingual human score. You can also see the Code Llama Python 70 billion is topping the list in MBPP score. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Code Llama 70 billion parameter model. We are going to set that up on a local machine using Olama. We are also going to test its coding ability. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. This is the spec I am using. I'm using Ubuntu, so I'm going to use the Linux version mentioned here. I'm going to copy this code and paste it on my computer and then click enter. Once that is installed, type Olama serve and then click enter. This will automatically start the Olama in this URL. Now keep this terminal running. Go to a new terminal. There you're going to type Olama run code Llama 70B Python. That's the version which I'm going to use and it will automatically download the version as you can see that here, it is downloading. It might take some time as it is 38 GB. Now it got downloaded, which I can see here. First, I'm going to test with some very basic Python task. So first return the sum of two numbers. So I'm going to copy this, paste it here, and then click enter. Seems like this version is not following instruction. So I'm going to try a different thing. Let's exit this. So let's run olama run code llama 70b instruct and this will automatically download the model. It got downloaded now. I'm going to type the same question. It's giving me a JavaScript. So I'm going to exit again. I'm going to type the same question and ask in Python. Going to copy that, going to test it, and it is a pass. So now let's go to the next challenge. Much more easier version. Find the discount. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Finally, got the answer here. So I'm going to check that. Click check. It says passed, passed. Then I can see the error here. Seems like the answer is correct. Maybe the test scenarios given is wrong. So I will give this a pass. Next, go to a medium challenge. Find adjacent notes. So going to copy this question. Seems like a long one. I'm going to paste it here and click enter. I got the answer here. So I'm going to copy this, paste in the code section and then click check and test passed. So that's good. Next, we are going to see a medium task. I'm going to go to a task, copy that, paste it there, and then click enter. Now I'm going to copy the code. I'm going to test that. I can see it's an error. I'm going to copy the error. I'm going to paste it there. I'm going to copy the fix, pasting it here, and then running it. It's a fail again. So I'm going to try that again. I'm going to copy it again. I can see it says failed, but still the value is similar. So I give it a pass. Next, going for the hard challenge. Here's the task and it's running. I'm going to copy the code, paste it here, make a slight modification because of the variable and then click check. Now the test got passed. So that is a pass. Next is very hard challenge. Concrete seats, copying that and pasting it in the terminal. I got the code here, I'm going to copy that paste it there and click check. Seems like it's an error. So I'm going to copy the error, pasting it back, pasting the fix back. Still, I got an error. Trying it again. Still, it's a fail. So this is a fail. Going to the next challenge. I'm going to try expert level challenge. Going to try the least common multiple. Going to copy this, paste it here. The code got generated. Copying that and testing it here. Seems like there's an error, so I'm going to copy that. Now it gave me two solutions. 
I'm going to try the first one. It didn't work. I'm going to try the second option. And this is a pass. So it passed the expert level test. This is amazing. I'm going to try a classic Python game. Create a Python snake game. The code is getting generated. It is using turtle. Now the code got generated. I'm going to copy it. Paste it in VS Code. Don't see any errors. In the terminal, python snake.py, line 89, syntax error. Here I can see an error. Trying it again. Seems like delay is not defined. I'm going to copy the error, paste it here. I'm going to add this fix, pasting it here. I'm going to run that again. I can see it is working, but nothing is moving. So I will give this a fail. It is a good starting point, but it didn't complete. I'm going to ask the same task, create snake game using pi game. I can see the game is getting generated. I'm going to copy this, paste in VS code. There might be syntax error because of the way we are copying it, but I'm going to fix the basic ones. It is expecting an icon, so I'm going to place the image, pip install pi game in terminal, then python snake.py. Line 16, it is just overlap in the comments. Next it says difficulty not defined. I'm going to paste the error back in the terminal. I'm just going to remove this variable and then run it again. I can see the game, it is starting, but it's not running. So I'll give this a fail. Overall, Code Llama is much, much better. As you can see clearly from here, the version we used is Code Llama Instruct. But by using Code Llama Python, that would be much more better. Even the syntax error are because of the way we are copying it and pasting it in VS Code. So that can be ignored. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.